Now would be a great time to try it. I too want to thank the seed organization as well as my school. Um, I want to thank my mother and my father and my stepmother for their uh, unconditional love and support, without which I never would have made it to college, let alone see the Nationals finals. Jackie Massey and Jason Russell, my debate coaches and two of my best friends in the world, who have certainly had an impact on me that was not purely pedagogical, but also personal, ethical, hopefully not professional. Um, <laughs> all of the OU debate team, including Adam and Dave, who drove down to the way to help out, uh, all of our teammates have been unbelievably supportive, including our unofficial member, I don't know if she's here, Kate Ritchie. Uh, my second high school LD debate coach, Martin Glendening, for believing in and respecting me enough to give a troubled kid a second chance, and to my first high school debate coach, never mind. Uh, most importantly, I want to thank Connor Cleary. I value my time and experience in this community primarily because it has introduced me to my new best friend, my brother, and my life coach. What up? Finding segregation to racial terms obscures capitalist social relations that prefigure and constitute racial identities. The politics of the one I see are easily enmeshed in a capitalist framework that organizes and exploits racial identities. Their race-based framing produces a disastrous politics that offers inadequate remedies for racism and decreases academic achievement, turning the case starter into porous in 99. There's been an overwhelming tendency to focus on racism as a category of analysis and determination of social, social conditions of inequality and marginalization. Much of the literature on racial segregation is utilized the concept of race as a central. This is reinforced racialized politics of identity representation is the overwhelming full scope of political action. The politics of busing provides an excellent example time. Studying white and lower race relations includes the contact among black and white students, but it's through race relations through the educational conditions of black students if they were bust in white and better schools outside of the neighborhood. 30 and better many parents and educators out of the South, the Bush solution is a solution based on the discourse of race as not only fundamentally problematic to the fabric of the neuroneous social policy experiment that fails to substantially improve the overall academic performance of students in these communities, theories, practices, and policies of racialized populations have been overwhelmingly rooted in the politics of identity, found on appropriate notions of race and representation, which ignore the imperative of capitalist accumulation, the existence of class division within racialized support and populations. Capitalism is the most totalizing system of social relations the world has ever Note yet, an analysis of class and capitalism is conspicuously absent, and even when it is mentioned, the emphasis is primarily on the differentiated plurality of identity politics or an intersection of oppressions, which unfortunately ignores the overwhelming tendency of capitalism to homogenize rather than diversify the human experience. And also, desegregation is not a method of liberating minorities, rather, it is a means of commodifying them into producers and consumers in the marketplace. Stanfield 82. Desegregation of urban schools is part and parcel of the corporate capitalism in the city. The result of capitalist interest in development of black educational opportunities is one thing to allow blacks a better chance to test scores on the math and reading than to give them a decision making power to decide. How those scores determine the destiny of their children's school. The segregation is not intended to make blacks better. It's only intended to make blacks better commodities from the labor market, not to give them the ability to determine their own destiny. Whites have made deliberate efforts to maintain their privilege in all important institutional spheres. There's only one certain aspect of those spheres where I believe those ruling whites can allow a certain degree of viability, even in like changes in its form. It does not disappear. And their promotion of desegregation stems from a need to provide coherent content to the narrative of nationhood, justifying exclusion. The urban area is seen as unpredictable and unstable, an area of fractured and subjugated identities that do not contribute to the vitality of the nation. As the nation continually faces the threat of incoherence and instability, it moves to include the urban area, primarily at the level of the local school. Here again, national leaders are able to transform these various identities into American ones and once again save the nation from certain doom in the 99. Urbanism is related to a range of inclusion and exclusions that were found in the notions of a common and local school. Chromatic <coughs> inclusion to be read as a nationalist discourse that the final was common. All those are all re-recognized as American and who have strategies for instilling those commonalities in the young. The past new trends from Carolinians or Californians into Americans and disciplinary rules schooling was enabled to raise in the next generation of citizens participation in self-government. The systems of inclusion and exclusion mobilize educational discourse to construct a common school to save the nation from reading to its separatism. The purposes were transformative and intended for the American citizen was Protestant. He spoke in Americanized English and practiced Anglo or Northern, or Northern European culture. He was racially responsive because civilizing benefits of education was a claim of and thought of the meter, he demonstrated his allegiance by being settled within the national landscape when political citizens were understood to look they lacked in order to be governable. Uh, excluded population, black folks, economic and moral stake in the nation, their unsettledness and the threat and the stability of the nation, providing schooling would include them by supplementing and intervening in their life to make them more stable and to give them the skills and dispositions for economic participation and moral allegiance. And 
The ass championing of liberal democratic values is all too easily incorporated into support for the conservative forces like the state and the market. This is Vincent in 2006. As the Jarosi see it, the state has government is responsible to the children of color, to construct a pedagogy of permanent education, the capital of permanent war will require an approach that is transformative. While it is so documented intoxicating to hope for a return back to the ones that reforms put a glaze to rebound to reward our gains against the Chicago founders' successful conservative regime of power. Have been in the ceiling goes from like citizenship and democracy of the public to most cursory familiarity of our current presidential administration will reveal just how uh, appropriate the values of leftist discourse have become that through Jarosi for confident rallying and defeating leftist regimes. Uh, around the wary barriers of the enlightenment rhetoric should register conscious consideration of the media's condition that sufficiently hijacked the country's bourgeois badges and emblems of participatory democracy and to struggle the Jerusalem nostalgia of the mid-toward moment of the new left activism might actually be impeding a, a deeper recognition which is how thoroughly contaminated an outside power has been in the moment that constrained by biopolitical saturation of sites of resistance and the regulatory ontological com composites of a political subject many forms of protests have been championed by the Bush administration and the military as instances of the state's reflex safety protests and awards evaluated and ensure the legitimacy of the neoliberal philosophies of the state. And the criticism turns and outweighs the case. Their inclusionary reforms reproduce new forms of exclusion that are simultaneously worse because they appear to be eliminated in the 99. Inclusionary reforms structured by organisms have drawn the complaint of the master disorders they were to exclude the actual located commonplace and enclosed the people in the panic our discourse that saved from the crisis. We have to problematize this reasoning. The ways in which organisms structured educational reform be established in categories of exclusion and discourse and supposedly arguing against inclusionary benefits want to vote collectivity such as America as an inclusion to supersede the horizon and these deficiencies the rise of the rule of schooling to invent strategies to include the inclusion of simultaneously works to include them. Revised normative distinction of the oppositional space of urbanism reestablished the native police investigated the subject further regular the space of the urban bringing the new strategy to discipline the overlaid new urbanism with the discourse that will Culture, society's markets, community, and lifestyle reproduces, none breaking that exclusion of the jury when they seek to include the exclusions that are inscribed in the American landscape. Our alternative is to abandon belief in capitalism. The system only exists to the extent that we promote it. Effective resistance is as simple as a refusal to participate. Jonathan 2K4. The absence of a detailed political roadmap is innovative shortcoming. The most important task is to the agree with the negativity of the political struggle. We have to procure an acknowledgement of confrontation resulting from the capital of ideology, and thereby to truly open the stage for imagining alternative alternatives to the present state of the situation. Learning how to communicate outside the confines of the current restrictions as the potential operator in the form of revolutionary practices. The value of currency is at the bottom of the world belief that has value attributed to it. Derailing capitalism by destroying its essential financial substance is the easy as dissolving the mere belief in the substance is power for the external obstacle of the capitalist system. They exist exclusively on the fiction that the subjects internally believe in capitalism's lifeblood as a simply a fetish to crystal. Of the beliefs and others believe in the socio performative force of demand emanating from the same material. The point of capitalism is clear. Older ability is something to the source of its erroneous strength is the empirical symbiosis between the control of the human desire like capitalist and fascism and able to dispel his or her fact of belief in capitalism because of the choice between them and the capitalist lie resting with certain unpleasant truths made the individual deliberately decide to accept what they know full well to be a false way of reality and deceptively conforming fiction. And in the context of the plan, this means doing nothing. The affirmative reformism can only make incremental changes that sustain the overall system of domination, GJAC 2K4. In today's post politics, the doctrine of pragmatism is open to the prominent left reaction to the applicant or drives principle of alternatives. Once we stick to the old formula, the detailed analysis of the common situation has changed the inherent stupidity of the principle of left is clearly extendable to tailor criticism of any analysis which proposes a more complex picture of the situation without saying any simple, simple description of how to act or their political political state of all of your theory against such a stance which have the courage to affirm that in this situation like today, the only real way to remain open to revolutionary opportunities to renounce fast cycle calls of direct action was necessarily all of some of the activity where things change from the totality of the same piece of sum to the urge of doing directly doing something that will certainly be not doubtly contributed to the reproduction of the existing world that will be the foundations for a true radical change that will be drawn from the compulsion to act to do nothing. And this opens the space for the different kind of activity. Case. School integration leads to disproportionate discipline of African American students. This is Jake Burton Bohr. Racial disproportionality in school disciplinary practices is still going to be today. Suspension rates of African American students were between two and three times those for white students. Racial disproportionality in school suspensions increased notably as schools became desegregated. This is why one is not a conflict of a newly integrated school to conflict with the result of ethnic control differences in teachers and students in relation to African Americans. This is referred to the disciplinary action of suspension in schools that have been found as described as this punishment for problem frequently. And this turns the case at least to isolation, lowers academic achievement, and leads to incarceration. Point days in 2003, 3 million students suspended, nearly 100,000 more rates, followed by 1,000 increase. Facing political and police action, but it's quite a problem for people to stay in school because the state time required a certain action committed to school be reported to police noise. In general, the problem with African American males, negative disproportionate problem with the suspension of the disciplinary trends of employment is by product for the decade of so called zero tolerance policies in public schools, including kitchen school increases, the odds of academic failure, and dropping out suspension of academic failure, strong prediction of entry into the criminal justice system. We are breeding a generation of children who think that they are criminals for the way that they are being treated in school. We are being practiced at the criminal justice system. It schools. And the plan will only transfer racial prejudice toward non-citizens of color. Xenophobia becomes easier to justify because it can be directed based on immigration status, not on race. Johnson 98. A relationship between society treatment of threats to threat minorities and non-citizens of color contrast the Chinese exclusion law about the right to walk right the education of the revolution of reconstruction and its cover lot to the operation web that came to the Brown Board the Board of Education, a huge repatriation within roughly the same time as the rebuild that late came down to the community's coincidence that they heard at the same time it should be considered part and parcel of the complex pattern of racial subordination in the United States, the reaction to immigrants of color can be explained by the psychological construct of the transference which can be the one to be focused on 
Canada, the general public is often more foreclosed from directly attacking minority citizens inside of Canada, whether allies have the full force of non citizens of color and doing so they can see that the attacks are not racially motivated, but they're not facially neutral factors. And they restriction its goals, such as attacks on also can have the frustration over that's minorities on the immigrants of color displacement as a defense mechanism, which feeling is shifted on who has substitute object form that is psychologically more of a more aggressive impulse than maybe displaces and scapegoating a public blue or not source of the frustration when they're to attack displaced frustration. They are constantly resulting in the development of racial prejudice. Such examples fair with the history of scapegoating immigrants for the social problems of the day frustration was displaced from complex real world causes to simple and potential solutions. And the app maintains the curriculum of American schools in two ways. They created an investment that is a tool for reforming politicians, and they back racist segregated school officials into a corner that caused them to defend their cultural norms. Scott and I, not in the context of desegregating the curriculum, the massive effort to remove the future and social inequality and evil. Come, look at the other eyes, like hacking with freedom because the social movement is so deeply entrenched in the rhythm of visible and intangible conversion of the best reform of the time and the most effective accusations of performance reform are engaging in totalitarian attacks inside of the government. Therefore, they conclude the side will be reformed by curricular changes on principle no more than wrong. And this prevents solvency, Scott and I, not. Current curriculum is a message of temptation and aggregation. Current curriculum control has been a tool for grading and perpetuating myths about people of color, characterizing your assumptions with current curriculums or symbolic of whites whose rules. Curriculums are one of the last most intense aspects of segregation. Yeah? Oh, I just want to lost you. Uh, first question. You said the alternative is to do nothing. In the context no, of... No, I didn't. Okay, what is the alternative? I said that when asked a question about whether or not to implement your plan, we ought not. So Our argument, argument is that when called to... When, when asked, when brought before facile calls to political action. Okay, uh, scratch off. What does your alternative do in the our alternative, integration? Our alternative is to withdraw our belief in capitalism. Okay. Once what, accomplished. Once again, how would this happen in the context of school integration? You mean, how would it affect school integration? Our app is school integration. I understand. How does. And we say that's capitalist. Okay, and what does withdrawing from capitalism look like in the context of school? Well, schools would not be integrated in a world where we withdrew from capitalism because we're like? reading evidence that says sure, that we're that. What do schools look like? What do you, well, I mean, obviously structural deficiencies would be radically different. For example, inner city schools wouldn't be crumbling apart because of capitalist investments in suburban areas where we produce sure, more we, consumers I mean, and producers. Lot of the evidence. very suburban sure, areas, by the way, where you I want to send question, minority say, children to hey, make them more like it's cool. You read a lot of evidence on why schools themselves are an attempt to make people more likely to be capitalists. What would the education well, system look like? Well, no, our evidence is actually specific to the effort to incorporate into okay. better white schools minority children. Okay, that's cool. And it you says read, that that read, is an effort to... You read three cards uh, that all say capitalism is the root cause. For example, your first one in C says capitalism is the defining cause of racism. What well, qualification... No, 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 it doesn't. Actually, it was very. It says capitalism is the most totalizing set of social okay. relations that the world what has ever known. What qualifications do your authors have to make the claim that capitalism dictates racism? Man, I would absolutely love for you to make arguments about the qualifications that our authors would make in critique of capitalism. Sure. No, it's but not that. I mean, John Powell was our, critical of the National Legal Defense of the ACLU. He's been a. Awesome. We are criticizing the very idea that the ACLU can produce progressive I change. I want to know. What? Opinions. How do these people. Uh, this is just a simple question. It's not qualifications. It's how do they know that capitalism is the root cause? It's also symptomatic because of your answer in prospects when I asked no, you what that, produces that, deficiencies in schools and why are people looking at I said it was too complex for me to answer and you were going to try to get a critique link out of it. My question is still how do these people know? Because capitalism, capitalism, capitalism is an ideology that structures the way that we relate to one another. Sure. So, so how would. Uh, sorry. Okay, keep going. No, 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 go ahead. You've obviously got a more. Oh, I knew it's the same thing. Like, how would we relate without capitalism? It was off your statement. Well, I don't. I can't exactly tell you what the form of our relations would take. They would take non-economic terms, though, which is the critical internal link to any sort of ethical or liberatory social program. What? So long as we remain entrapped and enslaved to an ideology that demands of us that we assign a market value to all beings okay. and all social. That's cool. Uh, okay. Just another question. You talked pretty long. I got to admit. Thank you. <laughs>